In this video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the word puzzle feature of the puzzle generator in PowerPoint. Now, the first thing to do is to open a blank slide in PowerPoint. That means if you do have any text boxes or places, um, placeholders on here, please delete them first. And then what we want to do is make sure we're on the puzzle generator tab up the top and we're going to choose our trim size. So I'm going to choose 8.5 by 11 here. You can, uh, of course, choose any size that you want. And then what we're going to do is click puzzles and then we're going to click on word puzzle here. Now our first page here is our game explanation or how to. This is a quick simple uh, text of how to play or how to do the puzzle. You can of course change this if you want by just clicking in and typing. If you want to include it, tick the little box here. If you don't, leave it blank and then click continue. Now our first option here is our color picker tool. This will allow us to choose what color we want our grid letters to be. Uh, so if you're publishing for KDP, you're likely to want them to be black or gray. I'm going to keep it on the default of black. Here you can select the font and the font styling. You have all the fonts that you have installed in Office here. And if you add extra to the export tool, you can of course use your own custom fonts as well. Our next option here is to choose our title font size here. That's the title above the grid. You can choose anything here from 12 to 30. I'm going to leave it on the default of 18. Our next option here is how many pages worth of puzzles do we want to create? I'm going to do an example 10. Here we choose our title that we want above each grid. So with word puzzle, it'd be word puzzle one, word puzzle two, three, four, and so on and so forth. You can of course either translate this or change the words. It's completely up to you or leave, as, uh, leave the same as it is already the default. Our next option here is to choose where to start the numbering. So typically you'd want this at one, but say for example, you made 20 puzzles and then decided you wanted to make some more. You could start this number in at 21, so then it would create 21, 22, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. But typically you just want to leave this on one. Our next option here is our grid size. So we can choose from four by four up to, up to eight by eight. Now, if you're not sure what a word puzzle is, Basically, it's a grid full of random letters in which underneath you have lines and then you've got to try and find as many words as possible in a set time frame. So obviously the larger the grid, the uh, more difficult the puzzle will be because the, there's more possibilities for words you can find. So I'm going to stick by 4x4 four by four on this one. And this gives the options for how many word spaces you want below the grid. So as I'm on um, a 4x4 four four easy one, I'm just going to put 15. Our last option here, which is pretty essential if you're creating books for KDP, is to have a left and right margin. So you, here you can put anything between 0 and 1. I'm going to put 0 0.75 here. So once we're happy with our settings, if we click OK, it's going to create our puzzles for us. Now, what you'll first thing you'll notice in this sort of puzzle, which is different from all the others, is there are no solutions or answers. This uh, puzzle is more of a challenge just to see how many words you can make in a set time frame by linking the words together. For example here, L, A, P, LAP. As long as they're connected, either side by side, up and down, or diagonal, you can make words out of them. Now, a, um, a formatting option, which you might find uh, is useful, is you can adjust the different elements on the page 
even after you've created the puzzle. For example, say you wanted these lines to go up a little bit. What you could do here is put in, let's do half an inch and then click up. And then what that does, that will apply that across every single page of our puzzles. And now a final option that you might find um, interesting or useful when uh, after you've created your puzzles is if you want to change some of the font, the sizing or the styling, what you can do is select the shape here. So I've selected the table here and click change individual fonts. And say I wanted to, to change that to size 30. I change the size 30 and then what say I wanted to change this one I just click on shape I click change individual fonts again and I wanted that to be size 30 as well and as it's gone under a little bit let's just move that up say 0.3 and as you can see if you go for all the slides all the changes you make on this first slide are applied to all of your puzzles. I hope this quick introduction to the word puzzle tool helps you get started. Thanks for watching.